Hence, four minus three is one. Okay, so there goes the limited retrieve. Okay. So. So uh, I'm making a climb check then, eh? Yeah, this is to make sure everybody's uh, secured on the rope. He unhooks you carefully, Swade. Give me a climb roll to counter his uh, climb roll, Swade, as he carefully mm -hmm. unhooks you, pats you on the ass, and says, Smurfy, Smurfy, Smurf. There we go. Swade nods when you turn your back, rehooks himself to the rope because they know how he operates. <laughs> <laughs> He looks up as you like are going by and hugging him. There you go. Everybody's ready to die. And Swade's like, no problem. Click, click, click. But let me fix this. Two, yeah. clicks. Two clicks, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> the other question I've got is who's going in first, second, and third? Because you're all going to be kind of together, keeping the party together. Great, but still who's first second and third makes a difference i assume you're going to be sacrificing rock first and i go first yeah he's absolutely. the expert yeah absolutely i go first uh so who's who's next uh you or mckay i go last it's fine all right no problem McKay in the middle. All right. okay so rock begins to go now there is a question here rock if you're thinking for whatever reason because uh that you can't see the uh the light for two miles uh, and you've got 100 meters of rope. Uh, the, I'm looking for side tunnels. Okay, okay. I was just curious as to what will happen when you run out of rope. That's all. Yeah, well, then we climb back up. <laughs> just so you know, even with the ascenders, climbing is going to be just fucking grueling. Yep. Not that's that's what we'll have to do. All right. Just so, the football field of climbing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, at least. And you can't even do a Batman style. Yep. All right. Da, 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 da. Now, Pete, just before you get ready to go in, uh, just so you know, Rock is convinced that the uh, tunnel goes down for two miles for whatever reason, and you've got 100 meters of rope. You're in the middle of the rope. Rock is going to go in first. You are second, and Swade is third. Uh, mm -hmm. Does Swade have a knife on his belt? No. Weird. All right. So I'll have to bite through it in order to get rid of you two if you needed to. And I'm not putting it past him. Uh, but that seems to be the current plan. Okay. okay. I, I'm i activating, of course, a military glow, glow stick as I climb down. And no um, have them hanging off of your uh, uh, belt yeah. and stuff like that. or your Exactly. Ass. That's I don't want to be carrying it in my hand. I, I've got it. Oh, yeah. You're I don't know. I thought you were going to have it between your teeth as you're climbing down. There you go. Oh, that right. makes sense. <laughs> Shit. Just exactly. so you know, okay, uh, climbing back up, if you do run out of rope, is going to be gruelingly rough if you make it up. Yes. Okay. So, but you guys we climb down. I'm hoping it's a case that there's something there obscuring it once we get past a certain point. Yep, that's the other thing I'm looking for. Yep. Is a gate, whatever. The, I, I doubt it's, it's great, two, if it's I if doubt it's, it's two than miles because we would have seen that. <laughs> yeah, if it's greater than a hundred meters, we're gonna have to go get back and get more rope. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh in the as you guys prepare to go off, the pit looks disturbingly like the open maw of a hungry predator. The rope supporting you feels thin and fragile in your hands, Rock. You begin going down. At 15 meters, and the rope is 100 meters? Yes. At 15 meters down, Rock, you know you've only come down a short way, but when you look up the shaft, the chasm opening, which once seemed to luge so huge, is now plate-sized spot at the end of a rocky tunnel. How will it seem when you reach the bottom? At 30 meters down, you begin to find uh, that the chasm's mouth, your only route back to the surface, now appears to be the size of a coin. The light ad admits is so diffuse that at this depth, you can be barely see more than a few centimeters in front of you. Thank goodness for the glow sticks. What's and, the, sorry, just what's the side sides like? What are they? Are they rocky, dirt? Smooth. They seem to, they seem to be, are they spongy or slick? 
by any chance? Because, um, hey, guys, that thing appears to be um, – that, that's not normal for 30 meters of climbing. I mean, Logan, are you describing – Threatening, threatening circumstances with color, or are you describing a a hole closing? Because it should not be that's it should not be a coin at thirty meters. I think it, it, we we appear to be get we appear to be descending a lot further than there seems to be some sort of distortion effect going on. Right. Do we need space time distortion rolls? No, no, you're fine. But I do need listen rolls from everybody as you are heading on down. Down. Yeah, right on the numbers. Yeah. Fortunately, Suede doesn't hear shit. The, the other two hear occasional squeaks and such as you're heading down. Uh, those who made their listen rolls give me natural history rolls. What about zoology animal law? I would accept that as well. Nope. No. No. Cool. Down, down, down. Carefully walking down. No problem. Um, let's see. Everybody suddenly bats begin flooding out, freaking out and stuff. Everybody give me a um give me a luck roll, please, versus losing some gear and stuff. Success at minus 30. Mm -hmm. Right. Sweet. So mark off a piece of gear as it plummets down into the tunnel. Ah, my box of ammo. No. And uh, <laughs> everybody give me either dex or strength to clutch onto the rope and wait until it uh, goes. And then, uh, yeah, let me know. How you no problem. McKay minus 30. Into rock who's now got to make it. He makes it by half, so he keeps you from sliding down the rope. Damn it, right. I slipped. You're laying there, spread eagled, going, I'm dead already, and you're holding on to him as hard mm -hmm. as you can, going, please, just take the rope again. I don't know how deep this is. Uh, Quit Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> well, this, place, this, yeah. this thing is smurfing deep. Yeah, I figured the squeaks... The natural history rolls for their bats. <laughs> uh, everybody roll a d6 minus two damage on yourself from scrapes and incidental crap from the bats. So if you get zero or less, no damage. Damn it. Ow. Negative one. Damn it. Wow, they really tore up uh, uh, the ambassador. As I think it was the sliding uh, down the rope as well and hit hitting in and slamming into rock. Logan, yes. did I see where the bats came from? A bat cave, perhaps. Uh, you're guessing like uh, little little niches within the walls and stuff, but not very deep. Right. Okay. What? No shoot, the rope? shoot the rope? Is that what you said? <laughs> yes, that's what I said. Shoot the rope. <laughs> Everybody give me uh, listen rolls, please. Yep. You guys hear little human screams and an occasional swear word in a very high-pitched voice. God damn it! Meow. There are Smurf down there. Hello, fellow Smurfs. I'm Horny Smurf. I'm glad I don't hear this. No, you hear that because I'm right here with you. And you have no idea why I'm saying it, because you didn't hear what I heard. <laughs> there are no answers. OK. McKay just continues uh, laying there, spread eagle, uh, muttering about how he's dead. Yep. Until he gets back. Well, we've lost McKay. Mm -hmm. McKay's gone bye-bye. All right. Uh, we continue. He would have just kept going and maybe slid off the edge of the rope. I'm not really sure. We continue down the rope. Uh, I prepare my Smurf diplomacy. All right. McKay, give me a new climbing roll to reestablish yourself on the rope. Otherwise, yep. it'll make rock life harder, which Excuse is me. what part of you wants to happen. 
Now you establish yourself. As you continue to descend 50 meters down, as you descend to depth where no significant amount of light will penetrate at all, it's like entering a new world. Even familiar things like the feel of the rock under your shoes or the rope in your hands begins to, for some reason, seem unnatural. Even though you can still see the top of the chasm, it appears to be the size of a button. I'm not sure how it's different than coin, but whatever. It's cold and alien. You also see various side holes in the sides of the uh, rocks uh, that look like a woman's handbag or purse could fit into them. Okay. Um, if can you see anything in the holes with your glow stick? Um, he said handbag purse. I mean, there's nothing obvious, right? Uh, if you want to shove a glow stick in there, you could get a better look. Yeah, sure. I'll shove a glow stick in there. No problem. You shine it in there and you see a weird looking bat creature with the head of an elf. Give me a sanity roll, Rock. <laughs> Rock go crazy. Yay. That's a fail. Uh, D damage. D6. That's right. Wow. That's nasty. Six. Willpower. Yep. Hang on. Let me mark off the sand first. Uh, yep. Yep. Uh, it goes toward bat thing. Max is at 12. Wow. Yeah, way to max. Uh... Halfway to max, yep. Hold on. Doing more accounting. That thing. You may, go, may as well go ahead and roll them because you'll be seeing them soon. Okay. Yep. Everybody, everybody else go ahead and roll their sanity and stuff. But Rock. How well, times that? three, right? Yes, please, because this could mean the death of Rock. Okay. I lose gonna, my shit. You're gonna lose your shit. So fight, flight, freak, freeze. No, fuck that. Pause. <laughs> Oh. Success. Damn it. All right. <laughs> Not while I'm on a rope suspended over God knows what. <laughs> okay. Uh, so they, you hear a little piping scream from below you. Everybody else made their sandy rolls? Yep. Yep. It's one point toward these things if you made it, and you hear them yell, Ossident homons bestia. Okay. Learn. I. Uh, it's Latin. Yes. Mm. Hang on a minute. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know what also it means, but the other ones mean human beasts. So. Yep, made it. Uh, death to the beast men. We're not beast men, I say in Latin. <laughs> there it's too late. They're they're uh, going going for it. And you guys enter standard combat, perched on a rope, fifty meters down, and God knows how high. Because that's the way you like to enter combat. So uh, heroes are first, and this is a bad one. Have a chance of getting knocked down should they take damage. Uh, nothing is approved. Um, right, you guys pretty much have to, well, actually, uh, you two can't see them yet. Rock, you can see one. What are you doing, Rock? You've got a rope in one hand, a glow stick in the other. You're sticking it into the cave thing, looking at this, which is going, ah, and you're like, ah, ah, ah. Uh, I'm probably going to fail this, but I tried fast draw sword. You drop the glow stick, getting rid of your light source. No, it was, it was hanging off my belt. You oh right! It's hanging off your, but the the cave itself is. Yeah, out. I have. Okay, no. Um. Oh, the little cave. Yeah. Okay. Oops, that was just regular sword. Uh, I rolled a forty nine, so that'll make fast draw sword. All right, no problem. You draw a sharp, long item while you're hanging on a very thin rope. This should be messy. I hope and I rope. Can I can I do this without? If you miss, then you I may. Believe in you. I believe in you, Rock. I believe in you. I stab it with the sword. I miss. 
it shows the uh, edge of the sword going shink along the rope, and it shows the rope going. Tch, 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 tch. Now give me the all important luck roll to see if you die. You fray the shit out of the rope, but it's still holding. Yeah! And let's see, you two are not sure what's going on. Uh, McKay, you notice Rock is now waving, clumsily waving around a sword. And you are I lift my feet up so they're not in so they're not within <laughs> Give me a dodge roll and you go whip. I don't want to get my feet chopped off. Mm. And if you get your feet chopped off, don't come running. Zero around. one. No problem. You pretty much uh, uh, have formed a little ball on the rope at this point. Yeah, pull my feet up and brace against the wall. Oh wait, Logan. Um sword trick, does that work in this? In B skin? Will by three, I believe. Will by three. Okay, so I had oh, to make actually, a will no, by I'll, three wait, or wait, none wait. of that happens. It may be different where we are. I don't know. Okay. Point, but try will by three because, you know. Yeah, fail. Ah, no sword for you today. No sword for me. Rope isn't frayed. You're not dodging. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I, do you want to suck up your feet anyway? Well, no, he's not flailing a, a large pointed object around. So. All right. You, you want to hang out and wait and see what happens? Hold that. Well, that, I haven't been attacked. Nothing is attacking. I, I just heard him say deaf, something about deaf to the beast skin, and I called out back in Latin, we're not beast kin. Elf oh. bats. Elf <laughs> bats. What are you doing there, Swade? Hey, just hanging out. All right. <laughs> This round, they all fly out. You guys see them and uh, succeed in your sandy rolls, unlike Rock, who loses his mind. There seem to be maybe a half dozen or ten of them. They're flapping around. They're bats, but they have elven faces, complete with the ears. And they fly around ominously next round. It's obvious they're going to attack, by the way. You have no doubt in your mind. Uh Heroes are first, villains are second. Asking them who's their daddy is approved. Uh, let's see. So, wait, you're at the top of the rope. What would you like to do? They're getting ready to attack you guys. Is Owen your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> and McKay, what do you do? I'll say in Latin, we're not beast kin. And Rock, what are you doing? Is Papa Smurf your papa? <laughs> Everybody take card. Let me see how many of them attack this round. Two. All right, and let me see who they attack. Hindrance. Right. Uh, you got a hindrance card? Got yeah, it. Great. Um, no problem. One was going to attack Suede, but instead it lands higher up on the rope and goes <laughs> and starts working on biting the rope. The other one wildly attacks uh, the rock. Let's see. And... It tries to fly by and bite your ass. Chunk. It misses. <laughs> it says, the one appears to be gnawing on the rope. That's probably not a good thing, Swade. And we go into the next round. The other two below you don't know this, though, so they'll be fine. Heroes are first using a flintlock on it. It's approved. <laughs> All right, so starting off with Suede, what do you do? It's up there gnawing, it's out of your reach, gnawing the rope, like, ha, ha, ha. I'll attempt fast draw pistol. Okay. Oh, right here. <laughs> uh, pull it out. You slowly and ominously take out your gun while making a lot of eye contact with it. Um, and McKay, what do you do? You're in the middle. Well, none of them are attacking me, so they're not within hand reach. Not yet. So I'm just keeping an eye out. And Rock, what are you up to? Um, I have a question. How big are these things? Are they literally bat-sized? They're the size of a purse dog. I just fucking grapple one. Give me a grab grapple roll as you grab one that's flying by. No. <laughs> ah, you feel Damn, it. Lot Damn like it. it. Got to grab. And right, they go. Um, the one continues gnawing. Um, Look, did, what did what did Swade do? Hey, he looked ominous. Oh, and right, right, right. Slowly right. drew his slowly pistol. Slowly drew his pistol, right. 
one one flaps by the rock again next round they are not super coordinated in their attack no, no. Uh, heroes are first the villains free their hostage they don't have a hostage reloading is approved where they hostage? when no you're not suede what do you do so now everybody knows why Swade always fails his hearing rolls as I discharge my weapon in a confined space. <laughs> right, go ahead and give me give me a pistol roll. If you miss by ten or less, you manage to tag the rope yeah. instead. If you miss by more, you miss everything. If you miss, or as, you as our patron justice would say, down is good. Mm -hmm. So not by ten. You're lucky. All right, you managed to miss it, the rope, everything else. You hear the bullet whine off of the rock. The, that thing looks at you and goes, ah, 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 and it says something in Latin to you. And meanwhile, we go over to uh, McKay. You're trying to reason with them. They are not being reasonable. They're flapping around, getting ready to attack you. What do you I do? Tell them to, I say, tell them to fuck off in Latin. <laughs> <laughs> and rock. Uh, I'm going to try to grapple again. Good luck. No. Swipe. Excellent. You continue swiping at these things as more come in to attack. Let's see here. Tink. Tink. Right. They're apparently, they've decided one's going to keep going for the rock, two more going for the guy with the pistol, and the one is starting, to, you see strands of the rope going bang, bang. And two of them attempt to get swayed because he's the biggest threat. One of them fumbles. The other one manages to hit Swade for two real damage as you take wow. a small nip. The one that fumbled, let's see what horrible shit happens to it. Uh, Swade, roll a d6 damage on that one. Eat him. It goes <laughs> into the rock wall and goes <laughs> and disappears. Into We're winning. The We're winning. <laughs> Meanwhile, the one on the rock attempts to, yes, and it bites the shit out of him for an amazingly high three real points of damage. Really sucked it in there. All right. Mm -hmm. And we go into next round as McKay enjoys being in the middle. Just like a, a Meat ambassador. Sandwich. Sandwich. And all, as always, rock is a bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, villains are first. Heroes all get a total heal. If you were damaged at all, it all comes back. Uh, easy point. come, easy go. Hey, this bat guano has some healing properties. Uh, no, it shouldn't all die. <laughs> uh, the one continues biting through the rope. Sway, give me a luck roll. Uh, Lower is better, of course, as the we're rope continues. The rope is tougher than it is, so you guys don't okay. yet fall to your death. And I do mean death. Uh, the other two continue to attack Swade to try to keep him from dealing with that one so they can bite through the rope. And, or wait, sorry, one of them went away already. So only one attacked you and missed. The one on the rock, it tries to bite this shit out of him and nearly crits. Mm -hmm. One point of damage. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so... <laughs> Well I've done. That. All right, hero's turn. Ralph, you've got the big shot. It's ready. Gun wobbles back. Yeah. Oh. All right. Nicely and done, sir. Roll Ralph, more than three. Roll. Yes. Yes. Against the cave wall. It is squid. And Pete, what are you doing? I'm not getting attacked, and they're not within range of me to hit them, so. Uh, you and could I'm try not... to rock in the top of the head while he's floundering on the rope. Yeah, and I'm not going to try and draw my bow and arrow and Rockward. shoot. Rock, what's yes. you up to? I'm going to snatch that sucker, and I fail again. Um, and let's see, we go to next round. I'm getting bored. <laughs> uh, being wounded is approved. Anybody who's taken any damage goes and gets a card for it. That's me. And right. They roll their morale here. Uh, right. And you hear them saying, or uh, screaming to each other, a current, a current. Um, let's see. I believe uh, McKay is fluent in Latin, isn't he? Yes, I have. And it is earlier. 
Yeah. Yeah. Warrior, yeah? Yes. They're screaming, run away, run away, which is weird because they fly. But uh, uh, right, they spend their round uh, running away. Or they flap into holes and crawl quickly into them. Uh, not ones close to you guys because it's obvious you could reach in and grab the little fucker, so they went over there. So uh, you're out of combat unless you want to do anything wild. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Not approved. I'm good. Well, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> they appear to have fled. Mm -hmm. So everybody's dangling, huh? Uh-huh. So. Yep. Kicking off the wall and watching them go spinning around, and that, that, that's wild, right? You said, Do you want to do something wild? <laughs> All right, you guys slowly spin. <laughs> Hey, is this, hey is this some sort of swingers party? Uh, <laughs> I, I was hard earlier for a smurf, so. <laughs> you were? Yes, you were. Your joke sadly fell flatter than the flat smurf. So, you continue <laughs> on down. Below you, the chasm opens into a wide cavern. At 70 meters down, Fortunately, your feet fucking touch the ground. Woo. Um, it looks as though you're on a foul-smelling pale substance that sinks up past your shoes, squishing into your toes. I, if we were some we primitive... Pile bat shit. If mean. we were some primitive society, we could use this to make gunpowder. Mm. If you didn't want to go buy it from the store, absolutely. <laughs> Okay. Well, I, this is exciting. I guess we climb up now and go home. Yay. And we found the bottom of the pit and there's back corner. We found that shit. <laughs> I'm assuming um, there's more to it than that, though. So. Yes. Beyond the central shaft, the floor of the chasm op opens into a larger space. From the edge of the shaft, it's impossible to make out exactly blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, big ceilings and shit. A uh, huge mound of uh, bad shit. It's dead deer. Um, it looks as though some ancient hand smoothed over uh, the rock while it was still molten or some ancient device or something. It was smooth bored by something around here. There's a lot of small dead end tunnels, but uh, off of the main compound, it looks as though it continues going. Uh, it's pretty obvious that it's possible to go that away. The w rocks in the walls seem to have some odd white stones within them. Does anybody have geology skill? Yeah, sure. We all have it at learn. Good. Once upon a time. Geology. As Swade thinks back to the old days when he used to know things. Oh my god, I've actually got points in it. I was just debating if I wanted to reach around in the muck looking for my box of bullets. Looks like I rolled an odd, odd fumble. You All and right, me so both. It, it's diamonds. It's big fucking diamond crystal, Ooh. biggest you've ever seen. They are, they are just big. They're like half the size of this this uh, thing here. Okay, I'll pull out my cookery and see if I can pry one out of the wall. If, you know, if you had a mining pick, if somebody had thought ahead to buy a mining pick, that would have been so much easier. That mining pick that you bought, Rock, and your that's hanging on your backpack. Oh no, he decided not to because they. Oh, didn't did have... he? Oh, I thought he did still. Yeah, we we couldn't find one at the Walmart, so I just I just gave uh, up. Bummer. So you wait, do a uh, luck roll here for your box of bullets. I'm curious right. if they're around or. Search the guano. There. <laughs> They're neatly stuck in the shit right there. You can pick them up, dust off the shit, and on your way. Do you see the diamonds, man? Oh, yeah. We've got to come back down here and find these suckers. Cloudy white diamonds. Yeah, I'm trying to pry one out of the wall with my um knife. Yeah. Uh, uh, Indiana you're, you're Jones style. Problem, okay. Yep. You eventually yep. get one out. Here we go. I reload while they're playing Dig Dug. All right. Large fist, si fist size? Uh, sure. 
Uh, everybody give me uh, natural history, cryptozoology, and evidence analysis roles if you make the R2 or one of the R2. Mm -hmm. uh, so cryptozoology, you say? Yes, natural Is history. Is cryptozoology? No, natural history. That has an evidence analysis. analysis. It's finally gone away, hasn't it? No. I made my crypto in my evidence analysis. Got it. You're thinking that there's something else down here uh, that has really small mouths rock because on the deer, it's a carcass of a, a white-tailed deer, pretty common looking creature and stuff, probably fell in here by accident. That's your guess. Or the weird bat things brought it in. Mm -hmm. uh, but it has gnaw marks on the bones and the bite radius was just a few centimeters. Um, you're guessing they're Probably, since you made your evidence analysis, uh, call it half a dozen creatures, and they're about the size of uh, tiny dogs, uh, but they resemble human mouths with razor-sharp teeth. Mm -hmm. um, the bats? You don't think it's the bats, because there's little footprints and stuff around. You, wow. If you like, give me tracking rolls, you can try that. I'll try a tracking roll. At half? Yep, same. They go that away um, into toward the next room. Uh, disturbingly, the front paws seem to be tiny hands, maybe like raccoons. Hmm. Now, also, as well as the remains of other creatures that have lived and died here, a lot of loose, gnawed upon bones and other items and stuff. Swade, while you were getting your bullets, you did find uh, roll a D3, Swade. All right. Mm -hmm. You found a bear claw. It looks uh, like in the past it was cut off with something sharp and then covered with like cloth and stuff that uh, has oh. since rotted off. Mm -hmm. I'll hang on to that. Cool. Um, everybody else, uh, everybody now give me a spot hidden roll for other shit. <laughs> wonder how much money this crystal is worth. Mm. You're both well. looking at the crystal, Swade. Do you make your spot hidden roll? I'm trying. It's, it's all up to Swade again. They need you to save them, Swade. And we've both got the same. Spot hidden, you said? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I step on it with my boot. Don't even tell me what it is. No, I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're both looking at the crystal, and uh, McKay's like, you know, Diamond can fetch a good bit. While they're doing that, you find yeah. a wolf skull with like some kind of weird writing in it that you yeah. can't read, I don't think, and an ancient leather hand, headband. Leather is, quote, freakishly old, stride stiff, slightly not upon, but the markings are still clear. Crude symbols and figures are etched into its surface. Uh, the central image looks like some sort of insect, cross between a wasp, locust, moth, butterfly, something like that. On either side uh, of the insect things are prostrate human figures. Okay. Now, from here, that's that's pretty much all that's in here. And they're like holding up this crystal thing and shine using glow sticks to get the light. And they're like, oh, the light's not reflecting as much as I thought. Well, that's because it's a rough diamond, says McKay. There's a rough diamond and with rough diamonds, you know, and they're going on to that conversation. Uh, but from here, it's like this room, and then the tracks go into the second room, et cetera, et cetera. Just do it in the appraisal rule. I fail. It's priceless. No, no, no. It, All your maybe. money problems are over with the... Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe. I don't think it's priceless. <laughs> I definitely get quite a bit for it. It's bigger than the Hope Diamond. <laughs> 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 Swain just looks at him for a while. And... <laughs> just wish I knew a Yaki Indian sorcerer who can help me with this. Help you That'd with what? Help. Okay. Um, help you with I what? assume he told us about this. What no, he's he doing that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah. I blah about the uh, the ravenous little creatures mm -hmm. and help. the tracks going that way. Uh, help you with what, Swade? Oh, translating uh, this. That <laughs> show him the skull. Ah. Looks like a neat hat. 
is it elvi is it elvish a k a it's, latin it's latin um it's various latin prayers for wisdom and inner strength i relay what it says to them see it is a hat um what about this headband oh. the description standing uh doesn't have any uh words on it interesting they're worshiping some sort of, what is it look like a migo they're worshiping or some other weird yeah, yeah that'd be your guess <laughs> mm, yeah, they're worshiping a migo okay uh i pull out my magic glasses and attempt to make them work mm, nice thinking okay i try again that's one charge uh -huh. okay two charges cool uh i believe that there's some faint magic in there in where the headband right okay blah okay i'm going to try analyze magic as soon as i find it in my prodigious bunch of writings here uh, come on damn it we need to have something automatically alph alphabetize these for us. Hmm. There it is. Success on Analyze Magic. Uh, from the other something. room that the tracks lead to, you guys hear a uh, faint squeaky voice. Go, Uh McKay, that translates uh, loosely from Latin into the word fuck. Someone just hit fuck. <laughs> okay, so what did I get from the Analyze Magic? Uh, it's hard to say, but it seems to uh, have some sort of uh, uh, link with something else for in that direction, the direction that the caves go and stuff, but exactly what's going on between it and the other thing, you're not really sure. It's some sort of link, though. Okay. It's weird and old magic, very old, right. old, freakish old, older than you even. All right, I grabbed oh. that puppy. Um, Sway's holding Sway, it right Sway's now. Got it. Oh, okay, Sway's got it. Okay. He gives you a look like you're trying to take something out of my hand, and I have a gun. Yeah, I have a little trouble following. All right. <laughs> yeah, after an experimental tug or two, you let go. And <laughs> <laughs> mine mine <laughs> what did you see anything magic rock uh it's i, I blog that I, I yeah i i did say block but once again we're it's possible we're missing things yeah but there's a faint magic it's connected to something deeper in the cavern so i wonder if it allows you to communicate with the my guy could try putting it on sweet dun, dun, uh, <laughs> Exist. Move along. Move along. <laughs> There's no I know, I, I know, weirdos. Go. I know a I, I know I know the Migo language. Not very well, but there you go. Um, you take the headband. There you go. All right. Are you one to put it See it is it on. That's your brain and all? Sure, I start why not? Silence around. <laughs> I prepare to tackle him. <laughs> I put the headband on. All righty then. Nothing immediately happens. I'll let you know when you go crazy there to uh, beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Everything's fine. All fine. We're all good <laughs> here. Very good. Are my magic glass is still going? Uh-huh. All right. What does it look like it may be done to McKay? Uh, give me a new analyze magic as things are happening. That's a fail. Yeah. Mm, weird tendrils of magic seem to be going around his head and stuff. Maybe like some sort of uh, vice or clamp or something like that. Preparing to squeeze the brain out of his head and make it into a sticky, gooey mess. Blah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... Well, it's my go. They wouldn't do that. I mean, they, it might cause my brain to pop out so I can go into a brain canister, but it wouldn't crush my brain. It's yes. my go we're talking about here. They wouldn't want to damage the brain. Right, right. They'll, they'll just put it in a brain case. That's right. Fun. All right. Um, I boldly trek towards Follow the Footprints. No Come problem. Come on, guys. It, Adventure. 
here's the opening that you came from. There's another big opening over here, but the footprints go over to one of the sides of the tunnel. Okay. That's the, where we heard the word fuck come from. That would be your guess. Um, it looks like that wall is pockmarked with dozens of smallish holes and stuff. Give me... Mm, uh, you guys notice that they seem to be have been dug with some sort of tiny hands. Uh, give me natural history or zoology rolls. Not crypto? Um, no. Regular zoology? Okay. Yeah, that'd be fine. Yay, minus 30. Uh, fumble. <laughs> fumble. Can't believe the amount of fumbles coming out. This seems to have made been, it, this this wall is actually a giant cheese grater. All you need is a big block of cheese, and when you rub it up and down on the wall, it makes it into smaller pieces of cheese. Okay. And that's a mouse hole, and it summons the mouse. That's right. Uh, for those who made the roll, uh, meaning just McKay. Uh, it, it looks like moles, gophers, rats, burrowing animals, uh, but these tunnels look to be smoother and more carefully constructed than most, uh, but they're like, again, the size of purse dogs. All right, some sort of burrowing animal. You hear from inside. What's so, wrong? I say in Latin. You hear uh, in Latin, uh, something, something responds. Um, well, we've got no interest in attacking you, so unless you attack us, we're not going to attack you. He says more Latin shit. Anyway. <laughs> they're telling us to go away or die. I'm just saying that we're not going to attack them unless they attack us, so I'm assuming they're not going to come out and attack us, I don't believe. Mm. So let's, let's wander away. This hole we're in. I think, Could I it think be that these little voracious things dug the hole? And what does that mean about how many there are? No, I think they've just dug the little tiny holes in the wall as like little burrows for them. Are the cheese grater holes similar to the perfectly round big hole we descended? No. No, they look to have been like dug with little itty bitty hands. Okay. All right. I thought then I suspect them I go built the big hole. All right. Hmm. All right. Um, Why don't you Excelsior. just do uh, Smurf form and head on in there or something? No, no, I don't have any control over it. I'm just reverting into Smurf form. Ah. Every day yeah. I get bluer and bluer. So is it devolving? I pull out some makeup, rub it on my face, put the makeup away. So are you devolving or evolving? I don't know. Are you guys walking off as you're talking or standing yes. in front of them? Yeah, we'll right. walking yeah, we're walking and talking. We can do that. In the third room, there's a bunch of cave paintings in the room. One of the paintings is of a five-fingered hand done in green, like five-fingered handprint done in green. And the cave paintings themselves, it looks like a series of images focusing on humans of what appear to be giant insects, similar to the one found in the headband. Give me archaeology rolls. Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just don't care. Give me natural history rolls. Give me, all right. Everybody looks at me and goes, give me mm -hmm. anthropology Happy. rolls. Hmm, cave okay, paintings. And lastly, give me Cthulhu Mythos rolls. And yes, you can get a check in Cthulhu Mythos and have it go up. Fumble! Unless you're the rock, in which case, it appears that this has no relevance to Cthulhu Mythos stuff at all. So you guys go, hmm. All right, so uh, what, what do the paintings depict? Or we can't really make it out. Uh, it looks like a bunch of uh, uh, humans worshipping uh, big-ass insects. It's the greys. 
I'm convinced. Are those those bug things you're talking about in Australia? Maybe, but I think this is more likely elves worshipping um, Maiga. No wonder nobody likes the elf fuckers. It, the uh, tunnel thing does also continue on, just so you're aware. Okay. Ad advance, we do. Have we seen enough? Do you want to add something to the painting? I've got blue makeup. You could try putting your hand over the green hand. That's not a bad idea. We should right. paint it blue first. Let's defile this. I put my hand over the blue hand and the green hand. Are you painting your hand blue first or no? Uh, no, I'm going to play, paint blue around my hand. All right. As soon as you touch uh, that, then things happen. Here's some cards for Pete real quick. There you go. And... When you do so, suddenly, this is just for rock, the cavern around you transmogrifies and there are suddenly glowing balls of light hanging near the ceiling, filling out the space with a cold, pale yellow light. Your friends are gone, but the floor of the cavern is covered in practically end to end with dark haired, ruddy skinned elves sleeping in long, orderly rows. You watch passively as you see your own hand, scratched and calloused from hard labor, digging a hole in the cavern wall and placing a smooth, dull metal sphere into the space. And then you pack earth and stone over it, and then you pick up a shallow bowl with green paint in it. You place your open hand against it and press it to, you put the, your hand in the green paint, and then you press it up against the wall and then kind of fill it in a bit uh, to where you'd buried this sphere. Mm -hmm. And uh, then there's a sound from across the cavern. You turn and see a section of the wall slide open. Light streams into the cavern and in that light hovers the silhouette of something horrible and insectile. Give me a sanity roll rock. Ah! Says the rock. You guys just look at him like. Fail. That was a rock, good. Roll a d6, you know what it's for. Fire right. towards my go. Yay. And, um, Right. Uh, go ahead and roll. Willpower times three. Fumble. Cool. Uh, roll a d4. Yep. Like, like freak, freeze. Freak. No problem. He blues the fuck. He strips down and blues up. Four rounds. Uh, he doesn't get very far before he snaps back to himself, but he's got his shirt off and he pop, probably made his pecker blue because that's usually a very important thing to him to get blue. So you're partially blued up, unless you'd like to just stop freaking out and screaming and doing it and then carefully work on the rest of your body. Yeah, the whole time I'm doing this, mm -hmm. I scream, oh God, it's happening. Oh God, it's happening. Oh God, it's happening. Hmm. Uh, Jacob. After Jacob. God, it's happening at what? Jacob. Yeah. You're right. What happened? Uh, I started turning into a smurf some more. Okay. Yeah. Why? I think it has something to do with the green hand. Also, I think there's something buried behind the hand. Okay. Uh, I saw a vision blah. All right. So is it. Is the wall dirt or is it stone? A little from column A, a little from column B. All right. Does anybody have – let me check my equipment. Mining any, pick would be real handy right about it. Does anybody have a tool that would be <laughs> good for digging it? Okay, out? okay, hold it, guys. Stop, stop, stop. I can run out to Shermer and find the mining pick and bring it back. I was going to say, just go to the local hardware store. Industry. We've got Trump for this. Yeah, it doesn't look all that sturdy. You might even be able to dig it out with your hand. Or your coat. No, I've, I've got a, I've got a decent. I've got a, a large knife that I can use to. Mm -hmm. That is used for things as a for sub substitute for machete and digging and all sorts of purposes. Sure, so but really, I could run out to Shermer and get us a pick. No, it probably won't take that long. Okay. You want to try out your big knife thing or no? Yes. It comes right out. Inside you find a uh, dull gray metal sphere. Did I you watched want behind this? us. What's that? Uh, I watched behind us where he described that door opening. 
Give me a, fail me a spot hidden roll for further happiness. All right. No. Well, shit, you say. Give me a sanity roll as you see a couple of rats, but with the heads of elves with pointed ears, kind of watching you guys from around a corner. Mm -hmm. They seem pretty cautious, like, you know. Hang on one second here. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, I did it. Wow. All right. And um, right. I'll re roll that. I'll re roll that. And re roll that. Just, just take the sand damage like a rock. Yeah. I'm the only sane one that I know. <laughs> there we go. Oh, uh, you do have a lot of sand. Yep. Yeah. One one point toward rat thing, which is different than bat thing. All right. Which but if you ever want to get a collection of really small elf heads, you could fucking do it here. You look at them. They look at you. You look at them. A necklace of elf heads. Oh, yeah. How fucking badass would that be, right? Yeah, that'll go well. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hold on, let me Let's check see how that. long you last alive in the embassy with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good call on the handprint, Pete. Well, I actually you didn't think it would call, yeah. I didn't think it was going to cause you sand loss. Sorry about that. Oh, that's fine. I I, I I am I am well on the way to zero sand. I'll just reroll my character. Well, no, nah, yeah. Well, just. Consider that you uh, you've still got probably 10, 20 sand to go before you get as to Mildred's lowest point. Right. And she climbed up from that. Right. Yeah, it, it can happen. I'm yeah. I'm real close to that thirty though. <laughs> yes. Yes. So. So over over there somewhere you saw. Okay. So the metal sphere. Any markings on it? Is it smooth? Is it smooth, gray, dull gray, heavy, light? Ah, it's a little heavy, actually. All right, magic glasses again. Hmm, not magical. Okay. Cool. Hey, just out of curiosity, Logan, I kind of take a look and hold up my bracelet. Does it match this fucking sphere's appearance in metal? Interesting question. Guard. Guard persuade. Told Freddy not to take things from strangers. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, the 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 workmanship is definitely uh uh, the same kind of shit. Um, Rock, did you blew the rest of you up or no? Um, I started bluing myself, but I, I'm definitely afraid of becoming a Smurf, so I stopped bluing. All right. He hasn't quite gotten that low yet. When I get to 30, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I use craft metal just to see if there's any like tool marks or mill marks on either one, either the bracelet or this. Um, I just want to poke a little bit further. So, Swade, since you uh, appear to be examining them closely, would you like to borrow my jeweler's um, oh, thing? Loop. A magic jeweler's loop. Sure. Here you go. Yes, right. I have a jeweler's loop in my bag for this sort of shit. All right. I, I made it. I succeeded. It's just poking a little bit further into this. No problem. Uh, yeah, the the uh, the bracelet thing is um, now. This is the bracelet you got here in the shit cave. Yes. No, no. It was the um, Ooh, which bracelet we are we talking about? Uh, the no, Pete's wearing that on his head. Described no, as no, a no. Dull bracelet, dull gray bracelet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The nope. comms bracelets, our comms bracelets. Oh, those. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, it's 
the the metals almost seem to match. <laughs> They they really they neither of them have two marks or anything, but they definitely there's some matching going on. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know yeah. Doors looks nice. Yeah. Apparently Suede is making connections he shouldn't be. Now we must punish him. Take more cards and punish me, I see. Yeah, because we haven't found any other bracelets, and the headband was leather, it was old leather, yeah. not metal. All ah, right, right, okay. So it's the it's the interdimensional phones. Got it. Yes. He's Little looking awkward. at that, and then looking at the sphere. Looking at that, then looking at the sphere. Little awkward. I uh, um, send a text any... message to Freddie. If we go missing, we're in the round hole in Johnstown. Go ahead and send him a PM on Facebook, but yep. don't respond to his if he sends you one back. <laughs> More ominous. Um, so what what did you um what did you work out? Anything, Swade? Yeah, these bracelets appear to be of the same origin as the sphere, which so, everybody's assuming is my go. Yes, at this stage, so you think the the bracelets could potentially be my go. it's interesting because the bracelets um well we could understand the text and stuff it seemed to be in english when we use it so yeah because the Mago would never just give you something easy to use would they no not normally not everything else i found of my go stuff maybe we're just all naturally speaking my go and don't know it yeah, the language on these bracelets don't match the Mago language I found in the Tri Kingdoms. And humans don't use, you know, any different languages or anything like that. No, no, I know, I know. But I'm just, yeah, it's just different. It's the, He's trying to struggle against the possible truths, right? It makes you want to have them on the end of a rope and then kick off the wall and go, wee! <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for you. Does anybody want a round revision? Uh, very useful for combat. Like I don't know. Or Let me just check if I got. Does anybody around. have garbage? Door open. I've got a. I have a dodge plus twenty. Mm, that could be handy. I was looking to throw away some of this garbage. What about you, Russ? Have you got any rubbish? Uh, I was on the Facebook page text, texting Alex. So let me give me a second here. Um, yeah, roll 20, cards. Victory Armor Piercer, still plus five is rubbish. Round right. Revision is definitely better than yep. that. Yep, just give me the skill plus five. I mean, give me the Round Revision. All right. So you speak uh, Mango there, huh, Joshua? I was able to read, some, I was able to work out some of the Mago uh in the mygo base that um we found uh have you in, uh, um tri kingdom why don't you activate your bracelet and see if you could change the uh script to mygo uh because then i'll possibly wouldn't be able to change it back because i'm not very good at it oh, i just want to see your head pop um all right <laughs> i mean feel free to do it yourself but yes well, anyways sweet Yes. All here. Bracelet here. Yep. Oh, yeah, are they going to so touch close. them? Are you going to touch them? I was wondering about what would happen. All right. I touch them. The ball begins to glow very faintly. Hmm. Magic glass is still going. Is that magic or is that tech? It's all tech. Not magic. Yep. You hear a distant rumbling. Is the wall that uh, Rock said he saw in his vision appear to be moving? No, I'm afraid it's worse than that. It's uh, the wall that's right near you. It's beginning to open. Hmm. And suddenly... A moment passed. And then another moment exactly Ooh, 
it's even worse than we thought. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God! No, no. Why does it come to this? <laughs> exactly. Uh, how dare you! And suddenly, Alex Kinley steps out of the uh, hole in the wall. What? <laughs> You seem to be in darkness aside from their glow lights. They look at you. Uh, uh, Suede looks like he's got a faintly glowing metal sphere in one hand. And uh, everybody's got like uh, military grade, very bright, bright, bright glow sticks. You seem to be in some sort of cave. Give me a spot hidden roll. You want to fail it, Matt? Uh, no, you don't. You want to make it. Totally make it. <sighs> Did I drink too much last night? <laughs> you think you uh, did. Damn. How did I end up in this cave? Right, uh, sorry, just opening up carriage sheets, bought hidden. I'm not going to fail this. Right, so. I believe in you. If you. If you fail to fail it, then give me a small sanity roll. 